So open the iPod video, get a safe pry tool and run it along the side to release the clips. Once this is done you should just be able to carefully pull this apart. Be careful because it is still connected with ribbons inside. Before you can open the case fully we need to release the battery connector here. There's a small brown clip that just simply needs to be lifted up and then you can release the ribbon. You can now open the iPod video. Next is the hard drive. This just needs to be pulled forward. This reveals a small clip. This just needs to be lifted up so you can release the hard disk ribbon. We're doing this with a pair of tweezers. You can now carefully pull out the ribbon releasing the hard drive. The next ribbon, ribbon to remove is done exactly the same way. Just lift up the clip and release the cable. The next step is to remove six small screws from the side of the iPod. There's three on each side as pointed out here. Once all the screws are removed, put the iPod back on its front and remove the iPod video LCD screen ribbon. Again lift the clip and then gently pull the ribbon out, disconnecting the LCD screen. The next step is to remove the LCD screen. To do this, simply unclip the two bits of plastic, revealing a small opening at the top and pull the LCD screen out. To fit the new screen, simply place back in between the frame and reconnect the ribbon. Simply push this in the connection and close down the black clip. 